Hey guys. So living out here on the property, I've always wanted to get a couple game cams just to see what's running around out there in the brush, maybe on the back part of my property. Put them up, see what type of wildlife's on the property. And I was having a hard time deciding on a good game cam. There's a lot of reviews on YouTube, Amazon, Google, all kinds of places with all kinds of reviews on these game cams. And it's hard to decide which one's the best without spending a fortune on one. I didn't want to spend $120 on one game cam. So I picked these up. It's just a trail cam. I think it's made in China. I'm not a super fan of made in China products, but it seemed to get really good reviews on Amazon and Google. And it has, what is this, a 16? I think it's sitting around here. Where'd that go? I can't even see it now. 16 megapixel photos. Has a couple of different options. You can get photos, you can get videos. Has night vision. Anyways, you get the picture. It's a game cam. But I figured I would unbox this one on cam and let you see what comes in the box. Here's a little view of the side of the box. Hopefully you can see this fairly decent. 16 megapixel, megapixel photos, one to three photos per burst. Working mode is photo, video, photo plus video, and time lapse. Impressively quick trigger times has to be seen. Up to eight to 10 months on the set of batteries. It takes eight AA batteries in standby mode. So it's saying it'll last eight to 10 months on one set of batteries. Improved PIR, blah, 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 120 angle. Improved CMOS sensor, larger sensor, produces the best results in very low light. SD cards, supports up to 32 gigabytes. You do have to buy an SD card for this. It does not come with one. And it comes in an LCD screen, a two inch LCD screen so you can view your pictures and instructional manual English French Dutch Italian and something else and then I'm guessing Chinese there's a little camera it's not super big just kind of nice about the size of my hand, really. Little cord, remote, and a strap. That's pretty much it. I wonder how long this strap is. Oh, wow. The strap is. Pretty close to six feet long. It's almost as tall as me. Pretty close to six feet. And you got little loops to hook it on. Looks like you got some other type of mount you can use too. This is threaded. And this has like a round slot. Maybe for something else. So you have a little clip on the side here. It's got a little rubber seal around it keep water from getting in. Battery pack. And your SD card's gonna go there. So this little wire serves as two purposes. So your battery pack slides in and this clips down. It kind of clips in the sides over there. So the, the wire's like a multi-purpose. You use it to lock your battery pack in and you can use it to pull it out there. Got my 32 gig sand disk SD card. I don't know about SD cards and which brands are the best. So I got these. They weren't super expensive, but they weren't the cheapest ones out there either. There's your little two inch screen. I don't know how good other game cams are. That looks pretty good to me. 
So your instruction manual for this is pretty simple. It uh, It's about five pages long. Not very hard to read, not very hard to program. Time and date stamp, your little remote and your screen kind of do it all. You also have a security code option, which I've plugged into these so that if somebody walks off with your camera, they can't get into it and use it. The first thing you have to do is enter the security code. And there's probably a way to bypass that on these cameras if you were to steal one, but it's a little deterrent. You can choose up to 16 megapixel photos and your videos, you can do 720, 1080 or something else. I can't remember what it was. I just went with the 1080 uh, video and the 16 megapixel photos. I wanted the photos to come out as clear as possible. So pretty easy to set up. I should probably put this on the on mode. You set it up in test mode and you'll read all about that in the instruction manual. Put it in the on mode. And uh, go hang these little buggers up. It's been about five or six days since I put these trail cams out. I'm gonna go collect them up. See what type of pictures, if any, we can pull off these and see how good a quality they are. We got one more to grab. I placed one up here. Oh, look at that. You know, we might have actually caught some deer on this last one. I just noticed a bunch of tracks walking through here. These are fresh. Let's follow these and see where they went. <clears throat> these might have gone right in front of the camera. I think they did. I got the photos off the cams. I'm pretty happy with the photos. I don't see any nighttime, any like night vision photos, but I'm pretty happy with the photos that I see during the daytime. Let me get these set back up here. I'm gonna type in my code. Um, this one that I have set up in my driveway pulls a picture every time a car goes by and I have it set up So it pulls a picture every, I think, two seconds. <clears throat> and anytime a car went by, it pulled a picture of it. I got the FedEx guy, my truck, and my wife's Tahoe, which is the only thing we've been driving around. Unfortunately, one of the cameras is bad, and it's not, it's not cooperating. You turn it on, and the, uh, the little screen where you can type in the number with your little remote. Type in your security number if you set it up. It just goes green. It has a little, the little boot up picture of two deer kind of heading it off. And after that, it's supposed to go to your little code if you have that hooked up. It just goes green. You can't do anything. I looked at it, it's the camera that was right over here. I know that because it's the only camera that didn't have pictures on it. The other cameras, I could tell where they were. So this one that these deer walked right in front of didn't pull any pictures. So it's unfortunate. One out of the four cameras that I bought was bad. I don't know. It has a return policy. So I'm gonna return it and see if I can get another one or just get my money back. I don't know, whichever way. I've got three cameras put up around my property. It's prob probably enough, but we'll see. If they won't give my money back, at least they'll send me out another one and hopefully that one will work. Well, the cameras are back out there. Hopefully, they, hopefully they're positioned in decent spots to get some decent pictures. I'll post pictures as they come about, as I check on them and show you more pictures. But for a review, they seem to do all right, with the exception of the one camera that went bad. And I'm gonna see if I can return that and either get my money back or get another camera. I think another camera would be nice since I have two up here in the front of the property. It'd be nice to have two out in the back of the property also. The pictures look good in the daytime. 
And there is a video option you can put out to have it do picture or video or both. I just have them all set on picture. I don't really want to take videos. It takes up a lot of space on the little memory cards. So I just want to see what's out there. Anyways, guys, have fun. Until next time, go make something.